Okay, today we're going to tie a nail knot. Nail knot is used to connect fly line to leader. Um, typically, in the scenario that you have a loop knot like this, a lot of people will either damage their loop knot, uh, don't feel secure in it in some sort, and cut it off. They also may not like the, bite, the bulk for that, so they'll cut that off. And what they'll end up with is a raw piece of end of uh, fly line, okay? And so they start to connect their, their leader material. Sometimes the leader material is just straight leader material to, to run into your leader. Sometimes it's a piece of leader material with a perfection loop on the end that they can then perform their own loop to loop knot. So we're gonna first come in, I like to clean up the end of my line. So I'm gonna do that, okay. Then I like to take my leader material and the key I found is to have a long, nice long piece of leader to work with. It's cheap. It's you want to work with a nice piece so that um, you have room to to uh, to use it and grab tags, etc. Because the knot can be a little tricky. It's honestly probably my least favorite knot to tie because it can be a little finicky. So what I do is I pull off a nice long piece of of leader tag. I feed it down through the tray of my knot tool. You can use a nail. Um, or a needle if you want to, but these are really handy. I then start to wrap back up and I go about six turns. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six turns. And then I feed my line down through the knot tool like that. Okay, now you can see my loop um, is really tight. My wraps are really tight and I'm kind of pulling back on it. So it get, keeps it tight like that. Um, I hold things in place. I take my line material, I feed it up through the tool. I come out of the back of the tool and I like to give it um, a little bit of a twist so I can grab it. And I like to take my line and fold it back over itself like that so I can hold it in place. So it's pinching on there. Then I come back to my leader and I pull tight to the side and I pull off, and that's gonna get all of those to fall into place really nice. So I'm gonna pull off and to the side like this. So one, two, three, I pull quick, boom, it's seated. Okay, before it gets too tight, you can see there's some little bulges and things in there. What I like to do is I like to pull my tags like that. Pull my leader material over here. And those times, a lot of times we'll tighten up what we see there as our tags. Okay, now we pull both ends. And we are nice and tight. That's it. Our leader is connected. Next, we come in with our nippers and we clip very close. The reason we clip very close is because we don't want any kind of interruption in our line. So we're going to. Get rid of it as much as we can. So I come in, cut my heavy leader. Boom, that's one. Again, I like to cinch this up. I like to pull these in opposite directions. Tug it a little bit, seat it a little bit, make sure it's nice and tight. And then I cut my line. And my line can be cut very close. Boom, like that. And once again, you have a very tight nail knot. No interruption in your fly line as it goes through the guides. It's very, very small. It will never come off. And uh, there you have it. That's a nail knot.